we will invest more slowly in uh, transportation, especially in uh, track transportation with trains. But we are very strong in Europe and the inner transfer is very important for us. But we also uh, believe we are globally being stronger and I would like to present Eric Donaldson, our Vice President for Train Networks globally. And we, he will tell you about our plans for the worldwide situation. Yes, I'm Eric Danielson, and uh, for us the West, uh, the uh, Inner Trans Fair is a fantastic opportunity to, to showcase all the latest stuff we have in onboard and trackside applications. Obviously, Germany and Europe is a very important market for us. But recently, we have also in recent years we've also had a fantastic wins in, in Asia and also in the US. And now, as Anders mentioned, we have decided to take the next step and invest heavily in these markets uh, for the future to bring the best products for our customers. Nowadays, uh, industrial Ethernet communication is very, very popular for railway transportation data communications. Uh, Industrial Ethernet uh, switches, uh, which can support IP5088, is very popular for other industries. And nowadays, for railway transportation, uh, people are looking forward to bigger bandwidth and MPS technology, which converge telecom and data com, and which can accommodate a lot of uh, data into one network, is getting uh, required, and it can support IP5088 by default. And we are foreseeing that a precision time server is getting more and more uh, required for railway transportation network. So we are trying to bring this kind of technology into railway transportation. Yes, Red Line is all about communication. It's uh, connect, monitor, control is where we live in. Where we live in for. And communication is uh, the key thing in the future of mobility. Uh, there are more devices that need to talk and uh, the communication cannot break down. So it's really important that the communication is reliable. And that's not only in transportation, it's, it's all above the industry. Uh, more devices talk, more data is transmitted, and Red Line makes sure that this data is uh, transmitted in a secure way and uh, over all kinds of media, from uh, copper to fiber to wireless. Uh, all kinds of protocols, and it's, it doesn't matter if it's one device or one thousand device all over the planet. So I make sure you have your data. Ready. Yes, we see here uh, some product examples, and uh, you can see uh, how rugged they are. Uh, we, we build products that are uh, good for every kind of temperature zone, so from minus 40 to plus 80 degrees in, in water, uh, so with M12 connectors with uh, IP67 uh, class. And, Vibration, shock, everything is, is no problem for, for this dedicated product. So it's our uh, new uh, uh, generation uh, gateway combined with uh, dual Wi-Fi and the dual LTE and the six pole switching and the one uh, router. So it can provide like a communication gateway on board inside the train. So it's a, the product already used uh, in many uh, rolling star company like Bombardier already used the product. Cisco's role is to develop architectures and validate those architectures to deliver complete solutions for customers. So whether it's in the data center, whether it's in the aggregation layer, the access layer, or the onboard systems layer, Cisco is uh, developing, testing, and implementing architectural solutions across the IT infrastructure uh, in the operational domain. We call that the Internet of Everything, and that's how we're addressing transportation through the Internet of Everything uh, uh, sensor aggregation all the way back to data center, fog architectures, as you see here, autonomic networking, a uh, really configuration of complete architectural solutions to make end customers successful. This is Cisco's autonomic networking for onboard systems. It's the automatic configuration of railroad networks in real time as the consist size changes dynamically. 
So this could be a 10-car consensus that now changes to a 6-car consensus. The network will self-reconfigure and create a logical view for both the rail operators as well as passengers. So we can present physical security uh, logical views, we can present passenger seat information and logical views so you can select seats, we can present this information to digital signage, and it all autonomically reconfigures as the train is, in, the new consist is built and delivered. Knox's role in the future of transportation, and in particular to rail, um, is really to encourage both the support of the legacy environments as well as the future proofing. Um, looking to new futures like driverless trains and supporting the technologies and the infrastructure to enable that to happen. Also looking at upgrading legacy trains to provide that Ethernet backbone which can provide everything from passenger information systems, wireless access points for passenger use of the internet, surveillance, security, and the actual train control itself for HVAC, door opening and closing, lighting, and essential services. Beyond that, we do the wayside control, in-station security, surveillance and information systems, and beyond rail, intelligent transportation systems for the control of level crossings, traffic light control, signalling, and we're also involved in developing the latest standards for the interoperability of different train manufacturers, the automatic configuration and reconfiguration of consists as they get modified to cope with peak low rush hour versus off-peak configurations for the trains themselves. So we have the Moxa dynamic ring coupling. What this does is to improve the efficiency of interconsist communications. You'll see here a three unit consist. This gets reconfigured during peak load times, during rush hour, and during the off-peak times, a car or two may be removed. Later, it may be reconnected to the original consist for the next rush hour, and at this time it may be put on the other way around. What the Boxer dynamic ring coupling allows is for instant reconfiguration in correct order of any number of consists, irrespective of the direction in which they are facing.